morning guys, we're here at the St. Pete Grand Prix. It's race day and boy oh boy, lightning has struck twice for Rady's rides. We get to get a ride around the track, the street course, my hometown track with Mario Andretti. If you remember, back in May, we actually got to do the whole experience at the Indy Grand Prix last year. So even with all the crazy shit going on in here, it's a wonderful way to finish it. Scott Dixon, the Honda, one of the uh, Honda drivers, is in that championship lead. He is hoping to not only win the race, but also bring home that championship for Chip Ganassi and, of course, Look up. Honda Engineering. What's really wonderful is that being here, being able to share with you, we are live, and it's great because we were not able to go live at Indianapolis. The way it's going to work, Mario's going to pull up in that Honda two-seat Indy car. They're going to strap me in and then we get a lap around the street course. Now what's awesome is, is that the St. Pete track, this is actually a newer track. They used to run this around Tropicana Field where, guess what, the Rays, the Rays, went home at the World Series after they played. But this track is much more picturesque, really trying to create that whole ambiance that you would find, um, you know, at like, say, a home of one room, like Monaco or something like that. But, Really great to be in my backyard, to be here once again with Mario Andretti now. The other great news is that that blue Fox Civic Type R is the Honda Pace Car for the race. So that Boost Blue, the one that we brought to you here on Rainy Drive, that gets to be the Pace Car for the Indian cars pulling in. And then we're going to be getting in now. Not all of them have Mario Andretti. There's only one Mario Andretti car. The rest have other Indy car drivers, but we get the official Mario Andretti Honda Racing two seat car. Really wanted, we woke up super early to be here. And like I said, I just want to bring it to you. Sorry if you can't hear me really well. I'm just wearing a headstock, wearing the helmet, got the race suit on the whole nine yards. But we're going to be here for the race today. We got um, Mazda Miata Spec Series Racing. We got the Porsche GT3 Series Racing. And of course, we're finishing off at 2.30 is the green flag for that Indy race here at the St. Pete Grand Prix. Lori's working that camera, doing a great job. It's really awesome because St. Pete really has a lot to do with us. This is where I actually proposed to Lori. Down at St. Pete, right over at the pier, you have the Dolly Museum. So it's a really great location to come to, not only if you're racing, and you're a racing fan, but there's a lot of other great sights, sounds, the food, and then of course, like I said, with the Rays being in the World Series, hey, we brought home the Stanley Cup with the Lightning, so why not bring home that World Series win as well. We're in different rows, and we're waiting for the queue for us to get over to our spot to get in that car with Mario Andretti, and Lori's going to try to get the action all the way down to where we're basically getting struck in. Car. We're just waiting for that queue. Normally this race should have happened back in March and it's interesting because we were here in March and then they canceled the race because of the pandemic. Thankfully because of being able to have new rules and regulations we can have the racing again. They've cut down attendance a little bit but you know what they're really doing a great job keeping everybody protected but also being able to have this great enjoyment going on at a lot of fun events. We gotta wait specifically. So this is where this is our official spot. This is the official Rays Ride standing spot. That's actually the Mario Andretti car right there. You can see M Andretti. You see that bright silver. Really great to be here. Like I said, Lori and I were able to go to the Indy Grand Prix last year in May. That was a trip of a lifetime. It was on my birthday weekend. We were able to interview Mario, interview Alexander Rossi, who's another Honda driver, which is awesome. And of course, take that famous laps around the Indy Grand Prix circuit at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Plus, we also got to go to the museum as well, which is great. And end up firing up the cars nice and loud. There's nothing better than the smell of race fuel in the morning. It brings back so many memories of when I used to race cars 
just has a smell to it that really just let's just say hey this is going to be a good day the sun is out it's going to be a warm one you're probably going to be looking around 85 88 degrees today in florida i know a lot of people up north uh, are probably a little jealous right now i'm sweating bullets so it's kind of hot wearing this suit and everything but laura's doing a great job we're going to be going live they want to know how many twinkies does an indy car hold you know it, it's the good news is is that you could probably only fit two they want to cut weight down so there's not a lot of twinkie storage so we're going to keep the twinkies at a minimum i had one this morning breakfast of championships i know mario he had his and we're going to be able to do our thing around the track any other questions how about zonks no zonks on a honda race car any race car is definitely two thumbs up no zonks especially being driven by mario Andretti. that guy is a legend he's done it all and more going to tell you a lot more about that once i go for my lap the laps can only take about a minute 22 seconds Civic Type R pace car over here. Here we got the two seater coming in. Really, really awesome. Lots of excitement. People running around. This is what a race weekend is all about. And this is why, ever since I was a kid, I'm so glad that my father took me to the races and was able to really just give me that whole car passion that I get to now share with all of you. Any, any other questions? No, we've got about 60 people that have tuned in and they're all waking up and excited to be here with you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for waking up. Good morning Is this everybody. Is this your first time ever doing, somebody wanted to, Halal wants to know, is this your first time ever riding in an Indy car? No, this is actually my second time. My first time was at the Indy Grand Prix. This is my second time, but it's my first time here at my home track, the St. Pete Grand Prix, right on the streets of St. Petersburg, Florida. We're just waiting for the car to come around and the action's gonna start. How heavy is that helmet you're wearing? The helmet weighs a, um, a couple pounds. They actually use lighter material because you don't want a real heavy object on your head. Um, but the helmets aren't as heavy as you think. Carbon fiber Kevlar material really cuts down the weight, which is nice. Yeah, good. And here it comes. I believe that's Mario. I think this is our turn coming up. Yep. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, everybody. Watch out for that arrow car coming to stay right there for a moment. So, no action's going to be starting. Lauren's going to stay here to touch for that line. Get a good picture. There you go. All right, we're going to follow this car. We don't have a car. Alright guys, so we've got Joe getting in the car here with Mario as you can see. I'm going to back up a little bit. I am trying to take pictures and film at the same time, so I'm going to ask Joe for a raise after this. Alright, hope you guys can hear me. This is Lori here. As you can see, we've got Mario and Joe suited up down here. Of course, they're taking off first. Exactly the way Joe would want that. That's right, Dan. A well-deserved raise indeed. All right, good. Thanks, Genesis. Glad you can hear me. I'll flip it around once Joe takes off with Mario. Here we go. Listen up. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, man, you guys. This is such an exciting time. So, as many of you probably already know, Mario is actually 80 years old. And this is his last time actually driving the Honda two-seater, if you can believe that. All right, let me flip the camera around here. All right, hope you guys can see me okay. So this is Mario's last time actually driving the Honda two-seater. And uh, gosh, thanks, Ronald. So hopefully you can see some of the action behind me. Yeah, definitely trying to be safe. 
what's interesting about Mario that I think is he's, he's the most decorated racer there is out there. I mean, the man won the Indy 500 back in 1969. And what's really cool is you guys may not know this, but last year when we were with Mario in Indianapolis in May, that was the 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary of his win of the Indy 500. And what was really special for me was um, he was so, I guess, inspired by the fact that I was filming with Joe because his wife had just passed away the year prior. And it was really special to see that in his eyes. All right, there he is. Here we go. Hey Mario, so wonderful to see you again. All right. Such a gentleman. Yeah, he's such a gentleman, such a nice man. I mean, at 80 years old doing this, can you imagine? I know Joe it would want his job at 80 years old. Joe, you want to pose by the tire? I'm going to grab a picture of him, guys, before he heads away. All right, quick picture. Beautiful. Got it. Thanks again, Mario. Coming behind you. Don't back up. Don't okay. back up. Okay. Whoa, what in a crazy experience. Let's get off the track here real quick. Yeah, before we get run over. Yeah, before we get run over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, this is what the experience is all about here. Getting us behind the wheel with Mario. What a crazy ride. Getting onto the St. Pete track. I've watched it so many times, and being able to do it just makes it that much more of an experience. Really, thank you, sir. Really, really amazing. The people here making this program happen, keeping everybody safe. So what was it like? You know, the acceleration, the, the way that the braking, and what's crazy is, is that you ride a, tr a street course much bumpier than a lot of racetracks that these guys race on. And that's what makes the IndyCar drivers so unique is that they race on ovals, they race on street courses, and they also race on permanent road courses. No other series in the world, including Formula One, does that. So really, really great to see their skill. Another thing that's interesting is that the road, remember, has a crown to it. What that means is there's a raised section in the, in the middle that makes the water kind of drain off whenever it pours. Our normal racetrack is flat. So as we're transitioning from one turn to the other, you're actually going up and over the crown and then back down again. And that's what makes setup for a street course so difficult compared to a permanent road course or even an oval because there's a lot of different changes that take place on these roads that we normally drive on. Another thing that's interesting is because of all that vacuum that is created underneath the car to suck it down the ground. We're always talking about... Hold on a sec. So not only do we talk about here in Ready's Rides about downforce, you have the wing, but remember you have the arrow underneath that sucks the car down. What they have to do to prep for the race besides put the walls up is actually weld the manhole cover shut. If they didn't do that, it would actually pull the manhole cover right off of the road. These are things that happen weeks before the race even happens. But being in the car, feeling the shifts, very quick, very purposeful, really like a horse kicking you in your back every time. And seeing that bright silver helmet of Mario's with the red stripe, and it's just moments like these that I'm just so glad to be able to share with you guys. And I know I'm getting a little emotional now, but that's what happens when uh, when you love cars as much as I do, and you love racetracks, and you love Mario Andretti. And I gotta give it up for my wonderful wife, making this live feed happen. Definitely show her some love in that comment section. And you know, we need to get this race suit off, but I'm glad to be able to share this whole experience with you. If it's things like these you want to keep seeing on Rage Rise, these live experiences, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, this is what we're doing. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for your support. I can't do it without you. Thank God I have this. If you want to help us keep making great content, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Rage Rise merch. Gotta give it to my wonderful wife. 
beautiful wife, smart, intelligent wife, Lori, working that camera like a champ. She loves Mario, and just great to share this experience with her as well. So thank you, sweetheart. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride. Hit them.